Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the different life cycles that is uh, performed by the kingdom protista. So let us look into this. So first of all, let's try to understand what do we mean by life cycle. A life cycle for a particular organism, it means that all the sequence of events performed by a particular organism after uh, its next generation is coming. So between two generations, uh, the, if a particular organism performs some sequence of events, so this span of time is basically considered as the life cycle. So in case of uh, pro, uh, protista, this life cycle can be uh, of two types. The first type is known as the life cycle which shows the zygotic meiosis. So here 2 and zygote divides by meiosis. Here the organisms they are of the haploid diploid number of chromosomes that is 2n. So here the it is diploid number of chromosomes 2n and now it will divide by meiosis. So we know because of this process of meiosis what will happen? From 2n it will form haploid number of chromosome that is the number of chromosomes will be halved. So it will become n because it is performing meiosis. It will produce vegetative cells with n number of chromosomes. So this is an important point to be noted. So because it is performing meiosis and initially it was 2n, now it is going to produce vegetative cells which will be n number of chromosomes which will have n number of chromosomes. Now these cells which are produced now will divide repeatedly via mitosis. So mitosis is different from meiosis because in mitosis the number of chromosomes is maintained and it is not halved unlike that of meiosis. So it will divide repeatedly via mitosis and all the data cells which will be now formed will have n number of chromosomes. Now let us look here the parent cell was 2n. Now it has divided uh, through meiosis and it will produce n number of chromosomes. Now these n number containing protists they are dividing mitotically which maintains the chromosome number. So it will now form daughter cells which have got n number of chromosomes. Now some of these which are formed they uh, some vegetative cells which have formed they produce gametes and they combine during the fertilization process in order to produce a zygote and complete its life cycle. So here after dividing mitotically number of uh, organisms like number of daughter cells are produced which have got n number of chromosomes. Now some of these vegetative cells they will fuse together and because of this fertilization process it will now from diploid organism like diploid protists will be formed. So we have discussed about the life cycle which shows zygotic meiosis. Now let us talk about the next type of life cycle which shows gametic meiosis. So it is a bit different. Here the organisms spend most of its life in 2n condition. In the previous case we have discussed the organism is mostly spending its time in n chromosome number that is haploid number of chromosomes. But here in gametic meiosis the organism spends most of its time as a diploid in a diploid condition. Now here the gametes which are produced it is of n type and since it is n type so we can understand it will use the process of meiosis and not mitosis because in meiosis we know that the number of chromosomes is reduced or halved. Now here the gametes will now fuse to form zygote right because it is n number of chromosomes now and it will now grow into diploid organism. So I hope you have understood how in the previous process here what happens via mitosis n number of vegetative chromosomes are formed which has got n number of chromosomes. Now some of these vegetative cells it fuses together and form 2n that is diploid zygote. But here in the gametic mitosis the organisms are maintaining itself in 2n uh, number of chromosomes. It divides through meiosis and now the gametes which are formed they fuse to form a diploid zygote. So in this video we have talked about the two different types of life cycle performed by the kingdom protista which are 
life cycle which shows zygotic meiosis and the second is life cycle which shows gametic meiosis. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.